I'm going to explain what to expect when you're having surgery for cholesteatoma and chronic middle ear disease. You'll come into hospital on the day of the surgery. The surgery takes between three and six hours, depending on how complex and severe your disease is. You'll stay in hospital overnight and go home the next day. I recommend you have two weeks off work, school and sport. I'll see you a week after surgery and every few weeks until the area is completely healed. This can take up to three months. Before surgery, if you notice that the ear is infected or if there's a pussy discharge from the ear, please make a time to come and see me. If we treat this before surgery and the infection's not there on the day of the operation, you'll have a better chance of healing. The surgery is done through a cut behind the ear and down through the ear canal. When you wake up, you'll have a bandage around the head and an ear plug dressing in the ear canal and this will make the ear feel blocked. It's possible to feel dizzy in the first few hours after surgery and it's important not to get up on your own. The nurse will help you if you need to get up. You may notice a mild change in taste on one side of the tongue and this is usually temporary. It's possible for the tip of the ear to feel numb for a few weeks after surgery. While you're at home, you'll apply ear drops onto the dressing in the ear canal twice a day. Gradually, the dressing in the ear canal dissolves. It can take up to three months to heal and during that time, it's important not to swim, surf, dive or travel by plane. It's important not to pop the ears or try to equalise the middle ear pressure. To get the best healing result from surgery, stopping smoking for at least eight weeks before surgery and not smoking for a few months after surgery is important. The better you eat, the better you heal. Eat as normally as possible, particularly vegetables and water. For more information, ask me, my practice nurse, or look at our website.